A specialized volunteer clinic inside Chinook Regional Hospital is about to celebrate its second anniversary and it still doesn't have an official name yet. They treat what doctors call unhealable wounds and they do it over and above their regular hospital jobs and without pay. And they soon could have the space and funds that they so badly need. A warning, some of the images in this story may be upsetting to some viewers. Daryl Rummel reports. Inside a cramped room along a narrow corridor of Chinook Regional Hospital, <laughs> volunteer medical staff fight an uphill battle against wounds deemed unhealable. This is where we first met 96-year-old Violet Pickering, wheelchair bound due to sores on her legs caused by type 2 diabetes, at risk of losing one or both of her legs. Uh, since last December, she was actually um, going downhill and probably going to be amputated. While she's not about to run a marathon tomorrow, she could trip you as you passed by. Now 97, she's still wheelchair bound, but her legs very much attached. Well, I think her comfort level period has has you know improved for sure and I think just her overall well-being just with some of the changes in her plan of care have really you know have, have helped with that as well. She has been happier, um, she doesn't feel pain. Staffed by a team of practitioners on volunteer time they've allowed patients like Violet to remain close to home. Her age and condition left her in no position to travel to the nearest wound clinic in Calgary or Edmonton. So to her, this tiny room has made a world of difference, <laughs> but not just to her. Now we've had to expand our hours to try to keep up with the demand, and I think that's just going to increase in the future. Luckily, it looks like we're going to have, we're going to be able to expand our facility, and that'll help us, I think, deal with the volume. In under two years, this clinic without a proper name has seen 275 patients, successfully discharging 191 of them to their own health care providers. They've gone from three beds to four and a half. And thanks to expansion plans here at the hospital, they could soon have a permanent home. As their two-year trial period begins to draw to a close, they've seen patients ranging in age from 19 to 97, including Violet, who, thanks to the clinic, could stand and give you a hug if she wanted to. Daryl Rummel, CTV News, Lethbridge. Oh, amazing work. Mm. Coming up next, Scotty's. Yes, the Provincial Ladies Curling Championship going on at Lethbridge Curling Club. We've got some highlights for you next.